and scoreless in three of their first four games with that opportunity. Face off draw, one by Westland. Played to Ahmed, right side point and smothered up by Larson right in his own crease. As it comes near side boards, big hit on the near boards by Westland. Frees up the puck up for Austin Long. Center in front for Slavin, and Larson is able to stuff that one down, moving to his right side. The Storm do have it far side boards, played up a half wall to the point, and they'll set up their five on four advantage. Kester off to his left side, gets it back top of the blue, feeding off to his right once again, setting up the shot, they score! It was a shot from the far end that was tipped in front, and it looked like maybe Connor McMenamin may have been the last one to touch that down with 2.22 to go in the first. Tri-City on the board first, it's 1-0. And just to last for the amount of penalties that they had to kill off in that opening frame, including the third, which carried into the second period. Storm have it in down low, feeding back in front, back in a shot by Cipollone, and Shading is there to smother up the puck. He was all alone to the right side of the net miner, and Shading shut the door. Now up the left side boards they come into the offensive end. Mersch takes down his player, no call comes. Lee pass connects, it's a breakaway for Dornbach. He comes in on his backhand, forehand, tries to shoot. Caught between his skates, good back check though by Chase Foskey. There's another centering feed, comes in front for Mersch. He couldn't corral the puck enough for the shot, but Larson didn't like that he hit the stick of Austin Long, and now back through center ice. Bad turnover, Tristan Ashbrook, shorthanded breakaway. He's on his forehand, he shoots, just hits the crossbar. He nearly had the second and two game for the Stars shorthanded, but just couldn't beat by the five by three. The Stars win the ensuing face-off draw, but a quick spill by Christian Krieger, loses the puck back the other way, they score. <laughs> Christian Krieger took a spill. And all it took was a little lane for Joe Cipolo to be wide open for the one-time play for Ebenezer side done. That's Cipolo's second goal of the season, and just 10 seconds into the third, it's a 2-0 Tri-City lead. Cole Krieger couldn't sweep it out of his own zone, so Summers will get it blue line. Throw it to his right side for Hugo Blixt. Blixt, shot from the blue line, just goes off a of stick it in. It touched a player in front of the net and just beat by Shadig's blocker hand crossing to the other side. The second power play goal for Tri-City tonight. Now they have a 3 to nothing lead. Trying to center it, bounce off a storm defense. Then Carter Long gets a right side point. 30 seconds left on the power play. Ashbrook to Long, top blue line. Rear shot saved by Larson. Rebound there, third chance. Just scoots out wide. Carter had the opportunity. Maybe been the last final gas the Stars had to put it on net. It's clear down to center ice on a little high skyward chip by Tri-City. Five more seconds remain. The Storm will duck behind their own net, and that'll do it here from Viero Center in Kearney. A few lucky bounces, but it was all Tri-City tonight. They shut out the Stars 3-0 as their first shutout win of the season. And the Stars drop both games this weekend. Fall down to 3-2 on the season in the first of two straight games against the Storm.